Hi boys and girls, Miss Cabrera here, back with another art project for you. Today we're going to be making um, some really cool prints and I'm going to show you a super easy way to do it. This is a really great project to do for any age range. So if you have a brother or sister at home, um, siblings of different ages, this is a project that everyone can do together and you will find success. So the littlest one in your family and the oldest one in your family, you can do the same project and I promise it's going to come out cool for everybody. So you only need a couple materials and let's, let's give it a go. Okay. So materials, the most important thing you need is a piece of tin foil, which you can find in your kitchen. And I taped my tin foil down to the table. This is what we're going to be using to create our prints. So this is a really important material. And then you need some paper. The paper can be any size, any color. I thought I would try it on blue just to try something different. You need some paint, again, any color you want. And then you need some mark making tools. And by that, I mean, how are you going to apply the paint to the tin foil? You can use your hands or you can use a brush or you could try Q-tips, um, cotton balls, pom-poms, give it a go, anything you have. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your paint and put it on your tin foil. Now, the key here is you want it kind of find a happy medium. So by that, I mean you don't want it too dry and you don't want it too globby with paint either. You kind of want to just get like a really nice even coverage with your paint. If the paint is too dry, it's not going to transfer. And if it's too wet, it's just going to kind of like ooze everywhere. So it might take a couple times playing with it to get the consistency that you want. Here I'm just doing an abstract, um, abstract designs, a blobby shape, a little triangle, some dots, but you can, you can create anything you want. And the key is to catch this while it's still wet. So while my paint is still wet, I'm going to take my paper and I'm carefully setting it on top. And now I'm going to gently rub. I'm applying even pressure. And now you can see how if, oh, I had a little paint on my hands. <laughs> um, if it, you globbed up the paint, it would just start to kind of ooze out the sides. So that's why we don't want to put too much on there. So now that I think I have it pressed firmly, I'm going to peel it away. Oh, and look at how cool. Now I have a print of what I created on my tinfoil. So the options with this are really endless. You can play with the different colors of paint, try out different colors of paper to transfer it to. Um, now this is pretty dry. So you could even, you know, paint on top of this again or find another area on your tinfoil. And this is what I was saying. It's really fun for everybody because... Um, you can create abstract art or you can create something a little bit more literal and, and, and go that route. And then this, after it dries, you could turn it into a really nice card for somebody. Um, you know, if you have a family member whose birthday is coming up um, or you just want to celebrate them. So you could make this a really beautiful gift too, which is something to think about. So I hope you give printmaking with tinfoil a try.